myself rc birada working as assistant professor in volchen institute of technology solapur now in this session we will study about strain energy due to gradual load at the end of this session students will be able to determine the strain energy stored in an object under gradual load and sudden load now what is the strain energy the strain energy is the energy stored or developed due to the external applied load on a body uh, due to this uh, load applied on a body the molecules or atoms gets distorted from its unstressed state and this will be going to transform into a strain energy and this is in the form of potential energy and the strain energy in the form of elastic energy uh can be recoverable in the form of mechanical work the amount of energy will differ with gradual sudden and impact type of loading conditions on a body now let us know what is the strain energy in gradual load by plotting a graph of stress versus strain curve for a ductile material now i will take stress on y axis strain on x axis for the ductile materials we know this is a graph variation for stress and strain and this is a elastic limit for ductile material this is for ductile material the area under this curve is called as work done or strain energy stored now we will derive the strain energy formula for gradual type of load applied on a body so for the gradual load the load which is applied on a body in step wise it is from st starting with zero value of load and it will increase in time with its full amount so that is shown on y axis and the change in length is seen on x axis and the area under this p and delta l curve is nothing but the work done in a material or body and now we are going to denote the strain energy by a capital letter u and as i said the strain energy is a form of uh, potential energy and a amount of strain energy can be utilized to uh, do the mechanical work so we can equate the strain energy as work done and the work done from this graph p and the delta l curve can be represent with area under the curve area under the p delta l diagram now as this looks like a right angle triangle so i can write area of this diagram as half into height from the diagram and base of the diagram as strain energy and as we know delta l is pl by ae replace delta l terms by pl by ae term so it becomes p square into l by ae now multiply and divide both side by uh, a by a to get term this term i have multiplied and divide to get here a square in order to get the term after simplification it becomes p square by a square and here it remains al by 
E will be the remaining term and as we know this term P by A is nothing but sigma and after simplification finally we can get sigma square by 2 times E into A into L is nothing but volume and this equation is a strain energy in a ductile material due to gradual load of condition now so the strain energy equation contains the stress value and if you and this stress value is different for uh, gradual load sudden load and impact type of load so in order to find the strain energy for uh, all the three type of uh, loading conditions so we can get the strain energy for different loads now to find the stress due to gradual load third one so again we can use the same area as we seen earlier so again we know that uh, strain energy is nothing but half into base into delta L this is the area under this curve so here replace the delta L term by sigma L by E and I can replace that term by P into sigma L by E and also put this U value uh, as we derived uh, in earlier uh, uh, derivation that as sigma square by 2 E into volume E is nothing but half into P into sigma L by E. Now on simplification simplification so I can get sigma into a into L uh, equal to what P term will be remaining here into L and because this term this term and this term get cancelled and one sigma here and one sigma get cancelled only remaining is sigma into volume that is a into L is nothing and uh, this side is P into L is remaining again L L get cancels here so remaining is what P by A term as a sigma value for gradual load. So now think a while and similarly as I as we derived here so find the stress value for sudden type of load. Okay, for sudden type of load, the area under the curve, we can write it as this. Here, full load is taken like uh, on y-axis at a time, because here full load is applied at a time. Here, a step by step load is applied. So again, same, we can go the area under this curve is a work done. And that is nothing but what? P into delta L. And if you replace this delta L term uh, as this, we can get sigma value as 2 times P by A. And this value is a sigma for sudden load. And if you use this term of, of sigma and this term of uh, sigma, uh, put this value of sigma in this u equation that is strain energy equation so to get the strain energy for gradual load and sudden load thank you thank you